Dear students, in this video, I will make you understand the method of asexual reproduction in Spirogyra. So let's watch this video till end. Generally, it is believed that asexual reproduction by spore is absent in case of a Spirogyra. However, the asexual reproduction is reported or recorded in very few species. And for your information, in Spirogyra, the zoospore formation is totally absent. Till recently, a very few species have been get recorded for this method of a sexual or sexual mode of a reproduction. So, a sexual reproduction in Spirogyra is taking place by means of a formation of a aplanospores. These are the aplanospores uh, illustrations. Urkinates, that is the another strategy by which a sexual reproduction takes place. And uh, of course, the last but very important zygospores. Sometimes they are also called as a parthenospores also. So these are the some st the ways or methods by which asexual reproduction takes place. So dear students, let's have a look for the very first category that is a planospore. How it is get produced and what are the characteristic features of it? So as you can see on the screen, a planospores they are always get developed under unfavorable conditions. So I repeat, the formation of a planospore takes place under unfavorable condition. And during this mechanism, protoplast is get shrink and form a wall around it, thick wall around it. This results in the formation of such a spores like structure that is called as a planospore. So there are eight species recorded as per the literature survey over there among the 300 known species of the spirogyra but uh, recent advances in the phycological research and investigations it suggests this particular figure has been get changed so just it is for the convenience uh, sake of your convenience and knowledge eight species in fact uh, each uh, aplanospore if you look in its uh, detailed morphological uh, structures you will find it out that so they are non motile in nature and once they germinate under favorable condition they produces a new filament in fact uh, there are some other species in which uh, the asexual reproduction is more exclusively taking place uh, has been get recorded by some phycologist uh, so it is recorded that spirogyra articulate and spirogyra mirabilis these are the uh, some species earlier recorded in which a single vegetative cell it produces a aplanospore and in fact uh, during a more investigation uh, randhawad during 1938 recorded that spirogyra aplanospora is the only species in which throughout the life cycle only one strategy of a reproduction is there that is nothing but a aplanospore only so in a life cycle of a spirogyra aplanospora the formation of aplanospores only takes place over there so this is very interesting information. Let's have a look for the next one that is urkinates. So what are urkinates? How does they look? What are their functions? So to know about this one, just have a look on the screen. Urkinates, they are also produced just like a mechanism of a formation of a, a planospore. So the similar mechanism they are following. But it takes place as usual under unfavorable conditions. And basic difference between a planospore and urkinate is that they are having, the urkinates they are having, the thick laminated wall of a cellulosic and pectic in nature or pectinous compounds are there. So this is very interesting fact about the urkinates and uh, the well known species uh, of a urkinate producing one is called as a Spirogyra uh, farlovi species. So please excuse me these are the generic name and specific name specific name it should be with a small letter f but it is misprinted over there. Urkinates and aplanospores, just now I had told you, they are the non motile spores and uh, they develop into the new filament under favorable conditions once they arise by means of a decay of a parental, is that a filament structure. Let's look for the next method that is called as a ozygospore. Sometimes they are also called as a parthenospores also. And of course, ozygospores are known as a parthenospore. Reason behind is that that is the actual uh, result of a uh, those gametes which fail to fuse during a sexual mode of a reproduction and of course 
the as there is no uh, gametic fusion taking place so that single gamete ngm uh, which possesses the protoplast uh, content that protoplast itself is get converted into a spore like structure generally it is called as a zygospore and uh, as there is no uh, involvement of a gamete fusion uh, the mechanism is called as a parthenogenesis and uh, uh, spores are also referred as a parthenospores. So, a detail of uh, this is parthenogenesis and parthenospore, I will make a separate video and uh, it is uh, available for you. So, just uh, this was the information about the azygospore. Now, these uh, type of azygospores have been uh, reported uh, in case of a spirogyra variants and spirogyra groenlandica. These are the uh, two species, well known studied species in which. Uh, uh, such type of uh, zygospores are get produced due to the failure of gametic fusion and of course they are get protected within a uh, thick walled tree so that a protecting structure and uh, this is what about it's a uh, zygospore or parthenospore my dear friends i hope that you understood this particular mechanism of a uh, zygospore formation and after of course after germination they gives rise to a new filament so I hope that you understood all these three concepts that is uh, first one what we have seen it is a aplanospore second one it is nothing but the urkinids and last one a zygospore. So thank you very much for watching this video keep watching for the further method of sexual reproduction in next video thank you very much.